Hi everybody, welcome back to Day Trip Vintage Company. This is Julie, and today I have a small craft supply haul. All of these craft supplies came from Timu, and it's a small haul because I'm trying to be very intentional, intentional about the craft supplies that I'm purchasing and using. And in fact, some of these craft supplies I've already started using, and I have some upcoming uh, projects that they will all come in handy for. So let's get started. The first thing that I picked up was a bag of these little safety pins. I've heard some people refer to them as uh, gourd pins. I don't know. They're, they're also sort of um, like light bulb shaped, I also think. And let me see if I can get this to focus. Let me touch on my camera screen. There we go. And I pick the kind of uh, vintage kind of bronze color because I thought that would go well with a lot of the um, different looks and vibes that I like to craft in. And so I'm happy to have these. Leanne and I of Crafty Kitty Vintage, we are currently doing a little golden book junk journal tutorial series and I wanted these to use for uh, dangles, some kind of dangle um, uh, projects coming up. So these will get a lot of use. I'll put those aside. Uh, the other two things that I picked up were these sticker packs. And let's take a look at these. get them out. I think there's some that are stuck there, but my guess is there's some repeats. So we'll just pull out the ones that we can, whoops, easily get. They're a little bit stuck here. And in general, I love, I love, love, love mushrooms. And I have a junk journal that I'm working on. Again, a little golden book junk journal, and it has a, a mushroom on the front of it and I've included a lot of little mushroom themed ephemera inside. So these will get a lot of use and these would be great for doing um, specimen slides, that kind of thing. So I haven't used these yet, but I will be digging into them within this next week. I think I'll just put these to a side. It's always so hard to get them back in the package. In fact, I probably should have brought one over. I've been making these really handy, uh, I'll call them sticker envelopes or ephemera envelopes. So I do have a video up on my channel. You can take a look at that. And I will be making some little envelopes for these, but they're a very easy way to store them. And I have a little wooden, kind of antique wooden, crate that I store a lot of my ephemera in. So we will be making some envelopes for those. And this other pack, it seems like it's sort of taped up. Let's see if I can open the bottom. And these are feathers. And they're similar to the mushroom stickers. They're kind of that see-through-y um, kind of shiny, sort of a vellum, vellum look, if you, if you guys can see those. And again, um, I have um, some upcoming projects in mind for these. And I just love uh, feathers. Feathers are um, very special to me. And uh, perhaps I'll share why in an upcoming project or video. But I thought these were really pretty. There's pinks and greens. I love these little spotted ones here. So I'm very happy to have these. And these will show up soon. I'll stick those over to the side. And the other thing that I picked up was this stencil. So I've mentioned a couple times in my videos that I have been gathering supplies for sort of a Japanese-themed journal. I'm not quite sure. I have a couple ideas in mind. I'm not sure 
quite how it will fluff out, but I actually found something else in my stash the other day, just the other day and added that. So um, this is a floral, but for some reason to me, it sort of has a little bit of like washi paper, kind of Japanese Asian style vibe. For some reason, it just sort of struck me that way. So this will be fun to incorporate into that project. And then the last two things, so those things um, I haven't started using, but will soon. And then these two things I've been using a lot the last couple weeks or since, since I received my package. And the first one is this container of 20 washi tape rolls. And they're all in sort of a botanical mushroom butterfly print. And as you can see, I've already... Um, started digging into these and they are great. I've been very happy with the um, quality of them, certainly the quantity. This one I have used. So there's not a ton on the rolls, but um, actually I think this one I probably used several times and I'll show you. I um, I will be getting lots of different uses out of them, but I specifically pick them up for my two little gardeners, um, little golden book journal that I've been making. And I, this is from another set that I received on Timo, but I love using washi tape to reinforce my pages. So here's one that I used in, um, on this journal page. Let's see if I can find some others and this journal um we leanne and i we sewed in the signatures this past week so i haven't been doing a lot of ephemera yet in this journal i think i just put my first pocket in it yesterday and was making some tags so you can see how cute is that just to add a little bit of um, detail and to fortify pages a lot of the little golden book journals they're sewn in um, or stapled in. I've had both. Um, both that I'm working with, one was a stapled in, uh, one had stapled in pages and the other one had sewn in pages. So this is nice just to come in and fortify those pages a little bit. Let's see if we can find one more example. I thought I used another floral in here. There we go. How cute is that? So this wasn't even one of the little golden book pages, but this um, great kind of industrial um, vintage sheets that I like to work with. So super happy to have those and I'll probably take them out of this box. I have some great little, in fact, these came from Timu too. I have these great little um, holders here and I like to keep my washi tape on them. So that's also a great thing to pick up from Timu. And then the last thing that I bought and I don't know I have a little bit of mixed thoughts about it um, for a long time I know there's been some uh, tab uh, tab top cutters or paper paper punches that have been made uh, by some other companies and I noticed that Timu had a couple different versions so I picked up kind of this classic I guess straight um, type tab um, from them and I've been enjoying it. I've been using it a lot, but I will say it was a little bit, I don't know, I want to say smaller maybe in some ways than I thought. Um, I'm not very good about reading the measurements on things. I don't know. Are you guys the same way as I am with that? Sometimes I just look at something I don't necessarily I should be better about looking at the measurements. So I'll just show how this works. So it has a little, it has a little locking mechanism here. So you can open and close it. And what I do so that I get a two um, kind of flap tab is I just come in and I, I'll fold a piece of paper, whether it's you know craft paper or something that has a little bit of sturdiness to it. And you just feed it in this way and then punch I'll, I'll lock that again and so this is what the tab looks like in fact maybe i should measure that should i measure so it is an inch and a half wide sort of with the long 
parts of the tab. And I will show you what I have been doing with it quite a bit so that um, if I modify it a little bit, it's like one, one and an eighth. So there's the tab and you can see how handy that is um, if you fold your paper in half. And then here's a couple examples. So this size, it does look, it does work really well for larger journaling tags. And I thought the size worked really well for this one, but I'm finding for my um, like more narrow tags that I actually like to come in and cut cut the edges off. And you can even, um, once you cut those edges off, you can even come in and round the corners here. I didn't grab an example of that, but I've done that as well. Sometimes I'll leave them straight here and then sometimes I will round the bottom. But again, a little bit of mix because obviously you can just create the same look with um, other paper punches or a pair of scissors. So it probably does save a little bit of time if you're mass making. But again, um, I'm happy to have it, but I don't know if it's a super um, necessary purchase. I think I would like to maybe um, try out the whale tail one um, and see what that one is like. And I can um, uh, tell you my opinions on that. But again, it's handy if you're doing a lot of mass making and um, kind of quick making. So that is it. That is my little haul. Again, I'm not trying to pick up a lot of things. I'm trying to be very intentional about my purchases and purchasing with um, actual projects in mind. Let me know, are you guys the same way? Do you, um, when you're shopping on Timu, are you just doing little supplies, um, you know, little purchases, or are you kind of going in and buying a lot at once? I would love to know that. So I thank you for watching today. If you enjoy this type of content, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment below, giving it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy vintage style crafting, I do a weekly live stream every Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's called Vintage Craft and Chat. And we do all kinds of junk journal tutorials. Um, I've done seasonal decor, vintage style assemblages, that kind of thing. Anything that I love and I think you will love too. So I hope to see you um, on one of our Thursdays. And I thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.